Hi, CYJ, it's Tamar. It's Max. And we're here in Jerusalem with a Shabbat story. Um, once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a rabbi named Rabbi Shlomo who would live his whole life, live every day and every week just for Shabbat, just because he had a really nice pair of silver candlesticks that he used every Shabbat that have been passed down for generations in his family. And he didn't have much, but he did have these really nice candlesticks. But one Shabbat, turns out they went missing. So they went missing, and he went around, and he asked people, and he looked for them. People told him, just go look, search people's houses, try to find who stole them. But he said, no, I'm going to go around town and ask everybody who has my candlesticks, or has anybody seen them? So then he goes all around town with his friend, and they can't find them until they get to the edge of town. And then they see this little shack, and in the window they see some light coming through. So they go up to the window, and they look through, and they see his two candlesticks. But around them, there's a whole family, uh, parents, kids, and then they're all huddled around the candles with their hands around the candles to keep warm. And so the friend, Rabbi Shlomo's friend, goes up to the door, knocks in very excitedly, because he knows he found the candlesticks. And then Rabbi Shl the woman comes to open the door. And no, I'm going to go around town and ask everybody who has my candlesticks, or has anybody seen them? So then he goes all around town with his friend, and they can't find them until they get to the edge of town. And then they see this little shack. And in the window, they see some light coming through. So they go up to the window, and they look through, and they see his two candlesticks. But around them, there's a whole family, uh, parents, kids. And then they're all huddled around the candles with their hands around the candles to keep warm. And so the friend, Rabbi Shlomo's friend, goes up to the door, knocks in very excitedly, because he knows... He found the candlesticks. And then Rabbi Shl the woman comes to open the door. It's an old woman who's all dressed in rags. And then the rabbi speaks first and says, I see you have some very nice candlesticks there. They look just like mine, the ones that I used to have. Uh, do you mind if I buy them off you? And the woman said, yeah, of course. Uh, how m $50 sound good? And Rabbi Shlomo said, oh, no way. Those are way too nice candlesticks for only $50. They're at least worth 200 So Rabbi Shlomo pays her $200, gets the candlesticks, and for that winter, the family was able to buy firewood and stay warm. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>